Hey, and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this in Blender. I'm using Blender 3.6 on a MacBook Pro, M1 chip, and 16 RAM. So on the viewport, press Shift plus A to add a cube. Press 1 on your numpad to get to the front view. This is how you enable the numpad. Go to Edit, the Preferences, go to the Input, and check the Emulate numpad. Then go to Edit Mode by hitting the Tab button. Press S plus 10 to scale it by 10. Then press S plus X plus 3. Press 3 on your numpad to get to the side view. And press S plus Y plus 3. Go back to object mode by hitting the tab button. Press 7 on your numpad to get to top view. Then press shift plus A to add a UV sphere. Then rename it to air bubble. Select the cube. Go to particles. Click on the plus to add a particle system. Then scroll down to render. Click on render. Change the render as to object. And on the instance object, select the air bubble. Change the scale to 0.1 and the scale randomness to 1. Then press the space button to play the animation. You can now see that the bubbles fall down to make it rise. Go to the field weights and change the gravity to minus 0.1. Scroll back to velocity and change the normal to 0. Then hit the space bar to play the animation. Now you can see that the bubbles raise. And I forget to tell you something. Go to edit mode by hitting the tab button. Select the faces over here. Select this face. Press X to delete and click on faces. And this is how it's looking now. Scroll up and change the emission to 60,000. Change the end to 200. Change lifetime to 100. And change the lifetime randomness to 0.8. And now play the animation. Scroll to physics. Change the brownie into 143. Scroll up to source. Change the emit from faces to volume. And uncheck the even distribution. And now play the animation. Let's add materials. Select the cube. Now go to shading. Click on new. Make the color to full white. Change roughness to zero. Change transmission to one. And change the IOR to 1.33. And now you have a water material. Now select the UV sphere and click here. And select the water material. So I'll show you my render settings. So I render in cycles and GPU. Check the denoise and the noise threshold. Also change it to 0.1 so you can render faster. My max samples I use is 300. I also like to use motion blur, so check that if you want. Another thing I like to do is go to the view layer and check the denoising data. Then go to compositing, press shift plus A to add a denoise, then plug noisy image to image, plug denoising normal to normal, and last plug denoising albedo to albedo, then go to the output. Change the file format to FMPEG video, the encoding to MPEG4, and last go to the video and the Make the Video Codec to H264. Then go to Render over here and click on Render Animation, and wait for your video to render. And here is my results. And feel free to subscribe for more tutorials and videos. Thank you for watching, and I hope you like my tutorial. Comment down below what I can make in the next video, and with the editing and all that thing.